343 confirms that we will see more campaign before the release on December 8th. We have some more information on the Harbinger, the sun setting of classic 360 games delayed, and the final update for Halo 5. You want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel, the channel that keeps you up to date with everything going on with Halo. Today we have some news on Halo Infinite, we have some news about Halo 5, and also the Xbox 360 games sunsetting a little bit later than we originally thought. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos and want to see some more content like this, make sure you tap that like button as it really does help out the video and channel, get a better place within that YouTube algorithm if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we wrap up to the release of Halo Infinite. Well make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So let's first talk about this, guys. It's an end of an era coming very soon when it comes to Halo. And that one era being Halo 5 getting its final playlist update. And yeah, we kind of expected this to happen, guys. With Halo Infinite coming right around the corner, 343 is going to solely focus on Halo Infinite. So we got some information about Halo 5's final playlist update, which will happen after Halo Infinite launches later this year. So probably sometime right before the December holiday break that 343 usually takes at the end of the year. And here is your final playlist when it comes to Halo 5. Social, we have Quick Play, Super Fiesta Party, and also Big Team Battle, Big Team Battle, Super Fiesta, and Infection, those are kind of the key essential social modes for Halo 5 right there. Ranked, you're going to see some big changes when it comes to Slayer, Team Arena, so no more of the solo queue, duo queue playlist. We also have the 2v2 competitive, SWAT elimination, and ranked free-for-all coming back, which is awesome. I'm glad to see that stay. It needed to be there in the first place, honestly. But I understand it was a lower populated playlist, so it makes sense to have it removed previously. With the Warzone side of things, you have Warzone Firefight, Mythic Warzone Firefight for all you 152 grinders out there. Warzone Warlords and also just regular old Warzone. But what's going to happen now is that it's going to be the primary mode with Warzone, but they also have Warzone Turbo and Warzone Assault kind of mixed in there as well, but with a lower weighting. So it'd be less likely you come across those. It does concern me a little bit about people quitting out of the game because these are very different modes than just regular Warzone, but hey, we'll see what happens. They also mentioned that they will also be kicking off the final ranked arena season coming in December that will run indefinitely. Now, they're not going to just completely ignore Halo 5 because it said Periodically, they will reevaluate the health of the players to ensure we continue to have a good experience for players looking to play online. As you can assume, less and less people will be playing Halo 5 as Halo Infinite is the new hotness that will be coming out here on December 8th. And it's also Halo 5's birthday today as well for six years of Halo 5, guys. It was a good run, but I'm definitely ready for some Halo Infinite. Next, we have an update when it comes to the sunsetting of the 360 services for Halo. Previously, the date was set for December in 2021, but it looks like that date has now been pushed to January 13th. 2022 where all online services for the legacy halo tiles will be discontinued and for a reminder the games that will be affected by this is only for the 360 version of the games by the way guys so the original versions of halo reach halo 4 3 odst combat evolved anniversary sport insult and halo wars if you have any specific questions of what you can and can't do when it comes to services being taken offline Take a look at this chart. This is part of the blog update. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to take a look at this or just pause the video. It gives you a detailed breakdown of what's going to be available when the online services go down for these original Halo titles. So for all you Halo fans out there, you get a little bit extra time to play around with your original Halo experiences right there, guys. I mean, I haven't touched these since, well, since the Xbox One came out because I sold my 360 for an Xbox One. It's just like an end of an era, man. There were so many great memories with the 360 version of these games that it just was like the heyday of Halo's popularity as well. It was just amazing time to be a Halo fan back then, but I think we're gonna have that coming back around for Halo Infinite, which we had some more news drops coming for Halo Infinite right here. We had a recent cannon fodder to give us some more stuff about all the great Halo Infinite stuff that we just love to see. A little bit more discussion points when it comes to the trailer that we just saw, as well as the reveal of the Banished Rising trailer, which looks absolutely amazing. But there are some parts from this blog update, guys, I want to show to you all because there's some really interesting facts. One fact being that it looks like we will get some more campaign reveals before the release of Halo Infinite on December 8th, saying, we're going to continue to have more to say about the campaign and its enigmatic narrative threads as the days march ever closer to its 
December 8th release. So now you're probably wondering, okay, when would be the next time we could see this? Well, I'm gonna say it's November 15th, and here's why. A recent Xbox Wire blog goes into the reveal of this November 15th event, which is the 20th anniversary of Xbox and Halo, and they mentioned that specifically here. We invite you to join us on November 15th to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Xbox and Halo with a fun digital broadcast for our fans across the globe. While we won't announce any new games, this anniversary broadcast will be a special look back at 20 years of Xbox. We'll share more details soon. Stay tuned. Now, there were other launch games on the original Xbox One besides Halo, but they mentioned Halo specifically. We have more to reveal about Halo Infinite on this date, and News Insider Jazz Corden has something to say about that. My question for you was, they specifically said that they will not be showing new games, but... They brought up Halo specifically, so I have to, I have to wonder: is this where we're finally going to see Halo campaign gameplay? Uh, Jez, do you know anything? <laughs> you want to watch this show? I would say. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Not uh, really. I like that. So, for a little bit better context behind that clip, obviously this was taken before we had that campaign reveal on Monday, guys. Uh, so we actually had a chance to see some campaign, but I think we're going to see some more campaign on November 15th as well. So keep an eye out for that. I guarantee if anything else happens on that live stream, guys, you know I'll be sharing it with you guys on this channel here, anything, anything Halo related. And so that live stream will be taking place on November 15th at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, and 6 p.m. GMT, guys. So keep your calendars marked. It is a Monday, so keep your guys' schedules open for this Xbox 20th anniversary celebration. You'll be able to find it on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. So you know the Harbinger, right? Like the new enemy bad guy that we have within Halo Infinite, the one that we have like no idea about. It's actually pretty interesting now. River 3 is able to create new species and new things for us to fight against in Halo Infinite. Well, we actually have some more information about that, a little bit of a clarification about who the Harbinger is. And he stayed here specifically saying, and speaking of unknowns, we also got our first look at the Harbinger. We don't have a lot to say about this curious character at the moment, but I will give you this. They're definitely not a prelate, which that is certainly something that I speculated when it came to the first reveal of it, because they look very similar to a prelate, but there are some minor differences between the species where you can see how the Harbinger is not a Sen Shayun super soldier, which prelates are, which I'm kind of bummed about. I'd be super cool to fight against something like that. And also a totally different kind of gameplay mechanic they could bring out in Halo Infinite though it's also very exciting because it adds more mystery to who the heck the harbinger is some people are speculating it could be a precursor but we'll just have to wait and see so obviously we've seen these forward operating bases guys we've seen them in the campaign reveal just last week and also back in early 2021 but apparently they're gonna have some more story elements tied to this as well mentioned in this cannon fodder saying make sure to take every unsc forward operating base you can Rumor has it, they have more stories to tell. And I believe these stories are audio logs. Let me show you why. I'm sure you guys all remember this amazing reveal that we had in 2021, back in June, of the Halo Infinite campaign and the world and things like that. But there's a very interesting thing on this forward operating base, where if you look right here in the middle, there is like this little data pad looking icon kind of item you can pick up within the world. I believe these are now going to be the audio logs that were mentioned in a previous blog update because in the most recent trailer, in the tag map part of the campaign reveal that we had recently, guys, showing this is Ford Operating Base Golf. And right here, there's one collectible looking like the same kind of data pad looking thing that we had within the gameplay and also talking about these story elements coming through. So I believe these are going to be the audio logs that we're going to have for the game to kind of tell a little bit more story about the environments and things around it. We even have a little example of this from a previous blog update I want to share with you guys. So what to expect from these audio logs. How many now? 16 systems shut down so far. Seemingly random locations. I'm attempting to lock her and the others out of the main- You will not be able to stop her. She knows more about how this all works than, well, anyone. Dr. Halsey. John. What's the plan? The plan? Right now, we are in survival mode, again. Cortana's message has spread across the galaxy. Most sentient AI are siding with her. Against us? Yes, but maybe not you. Tell me, John, what was the last thing she said to you? She said, goodbye. 
So an interesting little bit of insight beyond just the story of Halo Infinite, a great way to kind of just tell some more story elements about the world and just kind of like maybe build up to what's happened previously before the events of Zeta Halo. I would love to see it be kind of like almost on par with like Sadie's story from ODST, but I'll just kind of have to wait and see until we get a chance to play the game, guys. If you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.